All right, so this is a follow-up video to the one that I posted prior on how to uh, access your TPMS relearn harness plug whatever so in the previous video I did mention that I was gonna put a paper clip into the to one of the ports to that TPMS switch because you got to remember there's two holes but there's only one wire and that one wire you're gonna well what I did was I put the safety pin in there and you'll feel it it'll go in there nice and snug and then what you do is well what I did was I use some of these wires and I just you know grab I don't know maybe there's let's see, there's one two three four and I connected them to make one long wire so at one end of your makeshift wire you're gonna connect it to the safety pin or safety pin and what I did was the other end of that makeshift wire this is I, I tapped it to to this here because this is metal and it grounded out first thing I did before I did any of the tapping to ground out the wire I turned the vehicle on and uh, once the vehicle is on you're gonna see your TPMS indicator over here on the dash and once you ground it out I tapped it about six or seven times I'm talking about this end just tapped it one two three four five six seven whatever and then when you look on the dashboard it's gonna start blinking it's gonna start blinking the TPMS indicator and that's telling you that it's in the learning mode okay remember you got your vehicle on motors running so at this point I took off went for a cruise um, make, make sure I think you want to go above you know about 30 miles an hour um, you know if possible obviously there's stop lights and stop signs anyway let's keep driving around and eventually the light indicator TPMS indicator is gonna be a solid this is gonna stay solid it's no longer gonna be blinking and at that point you can go to a um, gas station that's where I went and just inflate your tires to the recommended recommended PSI and when you take off you go for another drive and maybe like two three minutes later the exclamation mark will disappear from your da dashboard and that's telling you that your sensors are all functioning the way they should be now uh, one thing to note and I should have said this at the beginning of the video is you do want to deflate your tires lower than the manufacturer recommended PSI so for this car it's 35 PSI for each tire so what I did was I put one at 33 another one at 31 the other one like at 28 and then the fourth one like at 26 25 so that's the first thing you want to do is deflate your your tire pressure to each tire before you ground out your uh, TPMS uh, learning area switch harness whatever hope this video helps if you guys have any questions hit me up send me a message and I will try my best to answer your questions. As always, thank you for watching.